Alright guys, welcome back to Path of Exile. Uh, fucking two swords to sell, actually, but... Something. Whatever, it doesn't take For that long. For freedom. For freedom! Oh, what the hell, that's our guild stash. Sorry. You don't have a guild, guys. Don't worry. Or maybe you do. I don't know why you're watching this if you have a guild. Um, oops, that's that's totally not the place I wanted to go. Templar Quartz. I love the music in this place, it's fucking amazing. Pat? Oh, sorry. I was looking at my stash, I forgot you had already left. Of course I did. I, I, I thought I was like muted or something. Nope, 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 me just being a dumb. You being a dumb. Yep, plural. Or singular, I mean. So the boss fights get kind of intense now. Uh, and I might actually start dying, so that's why I kind of was starting to make my way towards the life, because I'm like, I want to be able to... You're ice fight support. You're an ice fight support. So I don't think I really need more damage. I'm not sure, It, guys, it is so. a four-link chest piece. Oh, right, yeah, right, right, right. You're actually right. That's fucking leather, though. Motherfucker. It, yeah, but does it, it doesn't matter. Don't you have iron reflexes or are going towards it? What, what does iron reflexes do for dexterity, Pat? Oh, just, I'm just saying. I don't have the stats Turn for the... it, I said. Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> fucking nerd. Well, you're a Rudy Poo today. Jesus. I can't always a Rudy Poo. Yet. I hate everything you do, space. Pat. Everybody hates that. Alright, we just totally did a loop around. Yes, yes, we did. I figured you would have realized that sooner, but you just kept going. I mean, whatever. I, I was just following just you. Just keep coming this way. Just keep coming no, this way. I'm, I'm, no, because the last time I followed you, this is what this is exactly what happened. We are going this way. Oh, man, I gotta try to catch up. Oh, Jesus. They just shield charged around a corner at me. I'm gonna charge the shield around the corner. But shut up. That's not how this works. That is exactly how it works, actually. I, I really like the decor of this. So, like, yeah, it's Templar Quartz. So they have a giant fucking thing. So the guy just sits here has to look. Dude, the way he must bend his neck. Holy shit. Yeah, that's that, that that seems about right. How do you even get up there? Um That's a good goddamn <laughs> question actually. You gotta bring a ladder in for that. That's gotta look really silly though. Not really. They look hey, really yeah. high up. You know, almost, like, that, fuck it. There's it, gotta there's gotta be some like scaling issues with that, because there's no way that's how it works. Oh no, no, actually let me go in let me go up to it and let me like. No, I'm just saying camera. like the angle of it, alright? No, it definitely uh it definitely is like it is this is twice my size for this character. At least. Maybe like two and a half times for the guy who's yeah. uh, who's 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 learned there. No, I am telling you, this is like a torture device, you know, you're supposed to the judge is like, look at me, look at me, and then fucking like your your neck is like fucking strained. It's I, part you, is, that's not even where you get exiled at. No. Do we pass by there? I forget. Uh, no, we have not passed by there yet. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm saying, do we at some point? I'm guessing we do. Oh, I don't know. Probably. I mean, we're in Orioth. It'd be weird not to see the spot you get exiled at. Yeah. I mean, we just have to look for it. Because I know it's not here, because if you if you see it in, like, the when you choose a character, it's by that giant fuck-ass statue. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Because they, 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 the new interest screen basically has that now. Yeah, and you can place. see Dominus in the background, like, proselytizing. Try to say that word, Mike. Proselytizing. Like, proselytizing, 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 proselytizing. Oh, well, you actually did better than I was expecting. I don't think I could do it. Yeah, Congrats. Fuck, yeah, fuck you, bitch. I'm the best at English. Well, at least we don't have to fight any automations. Oh yeah, no automations. God, you're never gonna let that go. No, I'm not, because I hated that game. What was it, Borderlands or something? Uh, Bioshock Infinite. Oh. Uh, why? I, it was good. I liked it. Just, I don't know, I just felt the whole game had like this weird, like, almost like, cliche air of superiority to it, and, and it irritated me. In a lot of ways. <laughs> the, just the whole thing just like, rubbed me wrong. The game's too good. No, no, the game, like, knew it was good and was just really smug about it. And it's like, well, the story's not all that great, for one. I've, 
I've read fucking Ray Bradbury novels with more complexity than that. Come on. All right, welcome to the Chamber of Innocence, guys. It's actually really, really cool. A lot of fucking candles. Yeah, a that's... A lot of fucking candles. And then Burning Men, Prayer Guards. I mean, if this is Steelheart, I don't know what you're talking about. I really like, like, the windows and shit. Like, it's actually really cool what they've done with the decor. So, like, this is, as I said, this is the latest shit they've, they've kind of worked on now. Right. Stained glass window. Ah, uh, there's no spoken dialogue for that. Who shit has it. Well, who, who's gonna speak it, Mike? I don't know. Uh, it, it, they, they did spoke the dialogue. Is the glass gonna talk? Actually, I, can't, I shouldn't say that. This is a fucking fantasy game. The glass might actually talk. Yeah, it could it could be infused with the power of the gems. Or the power of God. What in God names is that spell? Yeah. Fucking Templar that, man. You said it wrong. That I, I'm sad. Yeah, you, can, you can say it. I, I, what I, in God's name is that smell? I don't really like doing like voice impressions of anything. So uh, I have the voice for it. It's it's fine. There you go. Side eyes oh. back here. Uh, more stained glass windows. If you actually read all the stained glass shit, basically tells the story of two young lads called Sin and Innocence. And I want you to fucking put five dollars on who the good guy is between Sin and Innocence. Sin. Yeah, spoiler alert. It's exactly the opposite of who it sounds like it should be. For some reason, and I'm not entirely sure why. You don't tell anyone what to do, bro. That's how it works. Yeah, apparently I don't. <laughs> I don't tell you how to live your life. Uh, is this where we got exiled from? No. It isn't. No. It's above ground where we got exiled from, because you can see you can see clouds and shit. Oh, really? The Triumph of Innocence. Okay. Literally nothing. Okay, whatever. I'm not Dude, I'm he, he, he slayed Kitava. Ah, oh, it's just some, it's just some religious lore, right? Like it just, just a dumb book. Oh yeah, don't, like Toad's McGlode's dog. Hey, there's a another four lane mall. Kind of shitty. Oh, they have a lot of stained All glass windows. Glass. Dude, that must be... Have you ever tried to, like, clean stained glass? It is a bitch. Have you ever tried to clean, like, wine stains from the car? Yeah, that was, that's actually pretty <laughs> fucking tough, too. Yeah. No, not not just wine stains, Mike. There's more... Oh, my God, they're just bombarding me down here. Okay. You, like, leapt out of the line of fire, and, like, every single one of them threw shit down at me. I'm just gonna hit them from down here, you know, casually. Hey, yeah, Pat, you can go handle those guys, I'm sure. I have the utmost faith in you. Oh, fuck it. 8% chaos resistance. A border. Dude, that's a, that's a perfect crafting one. Everybody needs chaos resistance. You roll life on that and some damage and you Gucci. Alright, well, I, I assume you took it. I did. Good. That's a big casket you got there. I believe in traveling life. Fuck, I can't carry that chromatic. I'll leave it up to you. All right, so this skill point is going to be put into 30 dexterity because we kind of just need it now, um, and it means we can also use his armor now. Uh, I mean, we can always respec out of that later if like we find enough uh, dexterity on gear to basically offset that. But that, those 30 nodes are really nice, so for that reason. Oh, is this it, Pat? Is this the place? It's actually a really uh, cool mural, actually. Holy it shit. It really is, though. <laughs> Besides all the body pieces on it? Yeah, it's it's hard to see, isn't it? I, I think you exploding it would make it even harder to see. Dude, the amount of fucking effort they put into this, holy shit. Oh, yeah, like, if it was some, like, real-life shit, you would have Taurus all over this garbage. <laughs> this is real-life shit. No, I mean, like, seriously, can you imagine trying to go someplace that has this many murals and candles and shit, and just trying to, like push your way through the thongs of people just like, I want to see innocence! <laughs> I mean, technically, that, that should probably did exist. It was just destroyed and burnt down and shit, you know, over time. Yeah, probably. 
You know. All right. Well, let's oh, go like to the Temple of Athens. The Sanctum of Innocence. Of impurity. Uh, Did he Alright, I'll just go let him slap my ship. Yeah, I'm gonna enfeeble him. Normally I like to try to give damage boost, but this guy I'm going to weaken. Like, his damage. He scares me. Yeah, I don't really know his patterns. Uh, okay, he's doing, he, he occasionally does like a railgun attack. Oh, he just exploded some of my minions. And hey, just for the record, that did about 3,000 damage to him. There's ad space to get all your flash charges back. I can't do this just yet. Smashy, smashy. Sunder too good. Yeah, when I saw that, I wanted to step out of the way, but I was locked into guess yeah, what? Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a charge up. Always dodge charge ups. I did I kill him? I did. Nice wing, bro. I killed about twenty. I killed about the twenty percent threshold. All right, let's uh. Not stand in that. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh fuck! Yeah. That, Holy yeah. shit! It begins already. Well, oh. by no death run. Dude, that was within Feeble on too. You're supposed to you're supposed to stay behind uh, the statues. Uh, he, he was like summoning those statues that move around. I guess you could yeah. stand behind them. You stand behind them and, and evade the projectiles, but they kill way fast. Dude, I couldn't even get away. I, I saw it coming and I tried to run behind the statue and it just was not working. Nice for fucking me. support build. I'm just saying, that's what's been feeble on him, and I've got like, I've got almost all the curse shit already. Oh my god, run away. I'm sorry, he scared me. Did you just fucking punch me in the face? <laughs> you this just is, got punched in the face by him. This is, this is my godly move called fist in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I am eternal! Punch! God damn. Yeah, by the way, there's some things that this build will just not be able to, to fucking tank through. It's it's tanky, but I mean, you're supposed to dodge yeah, on that fair. shit. That's, that's not something we want to tank. Oh, I got him. No Oh, there you go. It's Sin. I am Sin. The Forgotten One. Would that humanity could forget all of my kind. Perhaps with your help, that might still come to pass. For now, the blinding light has been dimmed, and darkness floods in to fill the void. The desperate and depraved set a feast for their lord incumbent, Kitava, the Ravenous One. Should Kitava accept their invitation, there is but one thin sliver of hope for us all. My brother's sign of purity. Look to it in the choking passages of Templar reverence. It shall be your torch when night falls at last. Uh, there was a cutscene in that. Yes, there was. I have not seen that before. Now that's new. They, this game needs more cutscenes. I love cutscenes. Oh, fuck you, piece of shit. Cutscenes suck ass. Alright, well, let's give you a character appear to talk to, I think. What in damnation have you done? Yep. You've destroyed him, and yet I hear the voice of innocence, begging for our forgiveness, asking for our help. You and I. I heard him the moment the High Templar fell, whispering inside my damn skull, his heart beating within my chest. Innocence protects us now, holds fast the door against the murderous tide that rushes to meet us. He wants you to pass through that door, to bring order to the chaos beyond. 
I don't understand any of this. Moments ago, I was just a soldier obeying his High Templar. Bannon the Nobody. Now, my god lays inside my head, telling me to let you through that door and to make my way to Overseer's Tower, if it still stands. It does? All right. I don't know what's waiting for you out there, but should you survive it, I'll see you at Overseer's Tower. All right, some guy named Bannon. And now we're, we can go to Torch Quartz. What in damnation have you done? All right, well, uh... Do you think it's torched enough? Yeah, it's a little bit different now. Oh. I guess they torched the light. Yep. <laughs> so I, I like how like this place is completely unexplored again, by the way. <laughs> Oh, it's completely different now, even though we just well, my, Like, you try stay like, come on, everything just changes right in front of you, of course. Pat, this, this game has backtracking, I don't like it. Oh. It's also a harbinger. Fucking Ripperonis, man. Oh, Jesus, they got a physical damage or and I'm dead. Oh, right, I, I, I killed the baddies, Pat. It, oh, which thank included you. you, apparently. Yeah. He kind of summoned it right underneath me and they had a physical My damage or and... Yeah, I got riggedy riggedy wrecked. I was just trying to leech through it all. So, yeah, things are fucking evil now, so... Um, I mean, the minute we kind of killed innocents, uh, shit hit the fan, I guess. Yep. So I guess he was like, uh, like, cause I don't really know the story. So I guess he was holding away the Katava or whatever. Or well, the... lore wise, there was two things holding Katava back. Actually, but well, we'll, we we'll don't really know out. if it's Katava yet. But uh... Mike, the giant red horns were kind of the dead giveaway. Let's just be honest. <laughs> yeah, the giant red X as well. Yeah, maybe. Cause we've been yeah, that that probably was part of it. But whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's all good. Go figure. And more red X's here. Fucking Kitava. Yeah, and all the fire and blood and the fact that everybody's called like what Kitava's servants and shit. Yeah, Kitava Zealot. Yeah, Kitava's totally not you though. I, I find it amusing because like literally, so in Act Three you kill um, Dominus, which is the guy who exiled you. Then in Act Four you killed like literally the the master of fucking nightmares himself. And so like, I, I guess like you know, GGG, the developers of this game, just kind of like sat down and like, fuck, what else do we make our our players do? Oh, let's start killing the gods. Let's start killing the gods. Oh, it's Kato the Scholar of Light, and he okay. has a lot of fucking fingers. Why do I see railguns on the ground? Oh, geez, now the Defiler uh, of Light. Now he's the Defiler of Light. And he does the exact same thing, except it's bloody. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was like a random side guy. Well, if you actually read some of the lore, like, within the Beast, uh, the power of the Beast, like, it, it's drawing off Malagaro, Shrabalan, and them as, like, the three godless ones to, like, hold back the power of the gods. So, now that the Beast is dead, and now that Innocence is dead, Tav ain't got shit holding him back. Because he ain't no punk-ass bitch. Because uh, yeah, literally within the first five minutes of him being free, apparently he's he really has had his hey, hands full. It's tea time, Pat. Come have, come have a seat. Dude, those are some fancy little cups. I, I, they really are, actually. Dude, they got like a vol thing over here. A vault? What do you mean, vol thing? Like, I'm trying to read that inscriptions down there. Romwald. I can't read it all, actually. Screw it. You need VR for this. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Path of Excel VR. I can piss you off playing that in VR like I do Dota. Oh uh, yeah, you can't do that anymore though. They removed Dota. I know, that makes me sad. Don't remind me. Probably for a very good reason, to be honest. VR Ricky. VR Ricky. Alright, we're out now into the Rune Square. So, shit's fucked now. Oh, Blast Orb. We haven't seen that one. It re-rolls the implicits. I'm not even going to talk about it. Like, you know, uh, the, the thing that Chaos Orbs do is they re-roll explicit um, stats of an item, which are basically like 
Uh, where it was a good one. Uh, the, the, this mace, it would, implicit is the 4% uh, area of effective skills, and explicit is everything underneath it. Like when it has a line separating it, see? Cold and lightning resistance is implicit, and explicit is all the other stuff. So, I mean, you could, but these are low level items, so you don't want to reroll any of it. It's just worthless. Oh, yeah, so the, um, the town square has gone through a couple of, uh. Renovations. Yeah. I mean, they're trying Just to little renovations. trying to attract tourism for the right Pope class. is still here, though. Pope is still here. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, you got You got to give a pe reason for people to come over here. Actually, what what do those guards count as now? They're heretical guardians. Okay, so they're actually corrupted now. Every everything got corrupted awfully fucking fast. Actually. All right, let's go back to town for a second. Uh, talk to the dear old town people. What in damnation have you done? You deserve recognition for what you have done. You've freed us from Templar oppression. Yet I fear you may have defeated the lesser of two evils. Still, take something. You'll be needing it in the dark times to come. Oh, wow, there's a ton of jewels. Yep, for doodles. Uh, all right. So these are threshold jewels, which we talked about briefly before, but now they're actually quest rewards. Uh, I'm wondering if any of this is something that I would want, though. Is there anything that you would want here, like the zombie one or something? Surprisingly, no. The one thing that I do want here is not here. I don't think I really, really want any of this. Yeah, I, I kind of don't care about any of this. Oh, ground slime has 25. No. Just, I'm, I'm not even gonna take. Uh, I'm not even gonna take it. I'm just gonna leave it. Once Kitava has gobbled up every scrap of Oriathan flesh, sucked every Oriathan bone dry of marrow, he'll turn his endless hunger to Nama Kanui and the whole Karui archipelago. As you know, the Karui will fight, and they'll fight hard. But they're going to need all the help they can get, and I know of three treasures that might just make the difference. They were taken when the Templar raided Nama Kanui. A whip woven of Hinekora's hair. A tooth that Tukohama ripped from his own mouth. A fish hook that was once the jawbone of Valokor. Together, they're known as Kitava's torments and lie within the reliquary that borders Oriath Square. I saw them with my own eyes when delivering messages to the scholars there. Please. Go to the reliquary and claim those treasures before Kitava's children do. For freedom. We're glad you made it. No, damn it all, that's just too strange to abide. I'm glad you made it. And innocence tells me I need to keep helping you. So that's what I'm going to do. I know my way around weapons and armor, and all things Templar if you should want for further enlightenment on that subject. As for innocence, I don't know. Sometimes he makes sense, other times he's a shattered god, but he'll heal. I'll make sure of that. Lani's told me a little about Utula and his cult of Kitava. Enough to know what Utula's got planned. Bring about the fall of one god so he can raise up one of his own. And this Kitava, from what fragments I can piece together from innocence, he's not the benevolent kind. Please, find Utula and stop him. I'm not saying this because I want to put innocence back on his divine throne. I'm saying this because Oriath is my home. It's made some mistakes, but it doesn't deserve the fate that Utula has in mind. All right. Well, Good luck out there. By the way, someone's missing from here. One of the guys that was uh, really into Katava. He kind of fucked off. where he went. Uh, we heard him though earlier, remember? Uh, yeah. Is that Utula? Is that what his name is? Yeah, Utu yeah. Utula Makora. Yeah, yeah, so the, the, he just gave me a quest to, to fucking kill him, I think. <laughs> he might have been a little bit too much into Kitava. Yeah, he's like, motherfucker. Remember, we do this. Alright, I could switch to Lasso right now, by the way. Yeah, eh, you, you can try it out, see how good it is now. No, yeah, okay, well, oh no, but no, I, I can't do it with a mace. I just forgot. It needs axes or swords. <laughs> I can switch to it, except I can't. Yeah, my bad. Wondering if there's anything else we want to switch to. Probably not Wild Strike. I mean, we could do Wild Strike too, but I don't know. Or we could do Cyclone if we want to spin to win. Just debating if I really want to 
Till you die. Uh, I don't know. Uh, eh, no, we're not gonna do it. Actually, nah, well, fine, we'll do it, we'll do it. Sorry, I, I, I have trouble making my mind, so I'm just gonna quickly craft a piece of shitty gear here. That's just shitty enough, excellent, all right. Blood Rage, oh, apparently I don't have the dexterity for that. Okay, I can't do it anyways, all right, never mind, because apparently this chest piece is giving me some uh, dexterity. Fucking GG, dude. Well, I could just roll dexterity onto it. So this is why you do masters, by the way. Uh, so I'll show you how to quickly fix a piece of gear for, I guess, like, tutorialness sake. I think I have a, because Haku has, okay, Haku has this thing here. So, I'm gonna place that down. So, you can place dexterity on something, but it only applies to gloves, boots, body armors, and some other shit. So, um, can't apply that one there. No, nope, not that one either. Maybe the helmet should have it? No, apparently I can't have it either. Maybe the boots? Yeah, the boots can have it. Alright. So, I'll give it like, I'll give it the low roll. I don't care. Alright, there you go. Now we can have it. Let's put our auras on again. Alright, let's take off Sunder for a little bit. Uh, put Hatred into there. Put that on. Alright, was it gonna do Cyclone or something? Or Yeah, you said Cyclone or Lacerate. I have Wild Strike as well. I mean, I can't do Lacerate with this mace, so... So let's put on, let's say, multi-strike with with faster attacks with that and cyclone. Does the cyclone work well with faster attacks? Um, uh, probably yeah, not multi-strike. I don't think multi-strike works with it at all. Oh, so maybe I don't want that. No. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't know. What, what was the other support gem I had in this? I didn't have another one. Mm. Put name in there. <laughs> name. Yeah, uh, just vain if there's anything else I want to try. Oh, I guess uh, Lightning Strike, I'll just bring that with me. Is there any other new abilities I haven't really done? I've got mainly physical damage support if you need it. I have it already. Of course I have that already. I got elemental damage with attacks. Uh, I technically have that one, but... Uh, sorry, I don't have that one, but I guess you can kind of give that over to me, sure. Alright, I'm giving you Rune Square. Alright, so there we go. Now we can try Cycloning again. Spin to win! Till you die. So, and, uh, we have elemental damage with attacks. I'm not sure why Pat has that, but whatever. I don't, don't question it. Alright, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna spin the shit out of these guys. Oh, it's a giant bone cemetery or something. This is, this is, there's actually a place like this in uh, Czech Republic. I've been there. Oh, the ossuary? Yeah. I think there's a one in France too, isn't there? Uh, maybe. But nobody cares about friends. That, yeah, that, that place is lost. Or is that just a movie? I don't know. I, I remember seeing like a commercial for it. Don't don't matter. So this is a bit slower than um than uh my other shit was going. Not exactly the fastest skill in the world, but it hey, it does the job. It eats them. I'm a bone blender. Hey Volor. Oh, hey, what are Volorbs for? Volor, we talked about this before. Oh, did we? The, yeah. We corrupt items. So that those are called science orbs, and uh, we save those. They do for a them. lot of really random shit. If you use it on any of your items, you can't modify it anymore. So just uh, kind of be aware of that. You can't modify the sockets. You can't change the colors. You can't do anything to it really, except with very special, with just masters. But yeah. Um. Basically, don't. Cyclone. Basically, don't use it. I mean, I, I'm near AOE, but. Yeah, no, but well, uh, our weapon range for it too helps. I have weapon range, I'm the fucking duelist. Yeah, this guy is like taking forever to die. Why is he taking forever to die? There you go. Because uh, those guys are really tanky. I think you're really tanky. Thank you. I still really hate Cyclone, by the way. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you. It's it is kind of like a weird oh what we're starting. I don't want it's it. Hit or miss. No, I don't want it. 
All right, let's, let's let's go back to let's go back to Wild Strike, and the Weapon Elemental Damage actually works really well. So this is actually a really high damage uh, ability, and I can put in either Multi Strike or I can put on Melee Physical. So let's do let's apparently apparently uh, Multi Strike does more damage, but you're gonna kind of see the annoyance I have a little bit. Actually, it's actually not that bad. Because, yeah, like, you can see I, I miss all the time, and I have to be in melee range or something. I think it still works really well. I'm just annoyed by this stuff when it happens. I was, like, literally just standing in fire, just smashing. It's like the little things there. annoy you for some reason, and it really shouldn't. I mean, it's, it isn't that bad, I'll say. Although that... Gum, 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 gum. It's gonna annoy the piss out of me. I think I think the haste is what does it actually. The haste is uh, the haste made it actually usable. Yeah, because I'm using the generosity taste. I'm, I don't have the super generosity yet, but I'll get that eventually. Tome of the First Templar. Sign of purity. Oh hey, what's fucking this guy doing here? Bowling. An empire is nothing more than a standard pitched in the naked earth. The time has come for you to raise the standard upon the peak of false faith, the apex of Chitta's cathedral. Drive it deep into that sacred stone. Mark the death of a faithless empire and slay the slavering kingdom that seeks to consume it. All right, well, he wants to do something with it. Oh. Would you look at that? And we go right back to the beginning. Alright guys, I think we're gonna head back to town. I'll see if anyone else has anything else to say, and then we're gonna end it up there. Uh, no, they're just all chilling. Okay, it's all good. So I'll get to sell my stuff here. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.